Oh, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode here at Wild Man Lives. I'm your host, Wild Man. On today's episode, I dusted off an old barbell of mine, a very dear friend called the Buffalo Bar. It is curved, as you can see, and this was originally meant for squatting. Squatters that often have shoulder impingement or don't have the mobility or the flexibility to get into a good back squat and would often impinge their shoulders as a result. Titan, Rogue, and other fitness industries created a barbell that was curved like this. But I had seen some of my favorite YouTubers that use this as a bench pressing method. This is a good variation bench press method, especially if you want to work a deeper range of motion and isolate the chest a little bit more. So you can see with the curvature here, I get about three inches of a deficit before this bar will touch my chest, which makes it a lot longer to press from the bottom and up. And because of its curved nature, it actually moves and wobbles a lot, which kicks in your chest stabilizers a lot better. So let's jump in and let me show you how this works. Well, I really want to apologize that my microphone wasn't working. That was quite the bummer. Anyways, the giant set for today is going to be working up to a heavy one rep max with my old friend, the curved and very wobbly Buffalo bar. And I'll be doing some prone rope climbs in between my sets. And this is a good exercise to work your grip and your back and your overall explosive movement from the floor. And I'll be doing the Yukon yoke walk in between. And I'll just start off light. And as the giant sets continue, the yoke will get heavier. And that's going to be the giant set for today. So as I work up in weight, just know that I'm doing those other two movements in between my working up to a heavy one rep max. Now, the reason why I started to get this thing out is for two reasons. Number one, that curvature allows it to have a three inch deficit. And it also wobbles. You'll see that as I get to the sticky point halfway up, it'll start to move a lot. And this is good because it sends your chest into overdrive for stabilizing and you get a deeper stretch of the pectoral muscle as you lower it down. So this is one of my favorite things to pull out every once in a while. This was the top set I thought I was gonna do for the day. And this actually went up very, very quickly. So I decided, you know what? Why not go for a PR? Um, I've never hit three plates on this implement before. It's been about two years since I've even used that thing. I think my max was 305 pounds. So I decided to go for it. And to tell you the truth, spoiler alert, I don't make it. And you'll see it gets really wobbly in the middle. And remember how I was checking those measurements earlier on my safety guards? This is why, because that saves my life every time I fail. But I knew that I had it. I just knew that I didn't anticipate the wobble in the middle. So this time I anticipated it. So as I brought it down, you'll see here, I'm able to fight it all the way up. And this made me very happy. If you can't tell, um, that's a PR. Wow, 315 on the Buffalo bar. That's the best I've ever done. And I haven't used this thing probably in about two years. Now let's jump into the volume giant set. Now I decided since I don't use this implement a lot, I might as well get some volume on it. So I decided to do a volume giant set instead of a variation giant set, where I would do five repetitions with 260 pounds since the last time I did 255 pounds, the last time I did this for volume. And I would continue to do my three prone rope climbs from the floor and then I would add more weight each round on the yoke. So here's 250 pounds, and that's just gonna keep going up and up and up as the workout continues. What I really like about the Buffalo Bar is it kind of makes you have to pause bench press in order to gain control. If you tried to slam it down in your chest and fling it up as fast as you could and use your chest and your momentum, um, this bar is just gonna get two out in front of you or two behind you and you're gonna miss the repetition. So this is a really good chance for me to stretch my chest out and to work my stabilizers as the bar wobbles as it goes up. 
And I'm continuing to do all this extra work in between to build my work capacity and to build my strength up in other areas that doesn't involve my chest. But doing the one rep max plus the three rounds of five repetitions with this, it almost kind of felt like I did more than just a five times five. So this is another great way to train. It's kind of my version of conjugate, which I will actually do in a separate video if you're interested in doing conjugate one day. Now this was the last round, so I upped it to 410 pounds. And all, everything was going pretty well, but my legs were pretty sore from doing squats the other day. All right, strength giant sets and volume giant sets finished. Now we're gonna move on to the assistance and the accessory giant sets. What I'm gonna do now is, this is 500 pounds. I'm gonna do three rounds of walking this back and forth for 15 meters, push-ups, and some back exercises in between. So let's jump in and let's get to it. So like I said, my legs were very tired and sore from the last leg day that I had. So the goal here was to really try to work my legs even though my legs did not wanna work. So I was gonna do three rounds and not go any higher than 500 pounds, which is a very good weight. And this is gonna tax my upper back and my midsection as well. And in between that, I was also gonna be doing some kettlebell handle decline push-ups. Now I'm at an angle because those kettlebells are so high and this allows me also to get a deeper stretch into my chest. And that's why I do push-ups like these sometimes. And I'm just trying to hit my chest in a different way. And sometimes I'll do ring push-ups to work the stabilizers, and sometimes I'll do these. And I was doing straight arm pull-downs with a band. This helps when you're trying to take a barbell out of the rack to bench it. That's kind of the movement that we're doing there, the movement pattern. But if you look at the overall work capacity that's being done right now, we're getting a lot done here. We're lifting over 500 pounds on the yoke doing over 60 push-ups with a deep stretch and with high volume. And we're also doing some back work. And all of these things that I'm doing right now help with the bench press. The yoke, building up that static core to balance the barbell when we take it out of the rack. The leg drive and the upper back is being worked as well. Lots of push-ups to get some more volume in and the straight arm pull-downs to get the barbell out of the rack but I contribute a lot of my strength coming from strength programs, strongman, and accessories like these. And I try not to skip out on any of these things because they all play a part in getting stronger and reducing the likelihood of injuries. And we're done. I really wanna thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and views my videos when I put them out. Without you, I wouldn't be doing any of this. So a big thank you to you. Thank you for joining me today when I hit some PRs and did something a little bit different. Really appreciate everybody. Have a good evening.